What in the Reese's peanut butter is going on here? Let's rewind. It all starts with this guy. Let's call him Kevin. And it's time for leftists to stop bringing dictionaries to knife fights, okay? It's time for all that to end, okay? Look, personally, I'm not a pacifist. And I'm not saying that, you know, I'll just promote violence, but we're in politics, okay? Politics is about power. And what are you going to do with that? Okay, we're in the middle of an economy that's faltering, right? Our education system's totally outdated. Our healthcare system's a mess, yada, yada, yada. We, we, you know, you tune into TYT, you know what's up. And, and, and this is what they're doing. This is what drives their, their uh, political activism, right? And that's a big portion of the base. It's not like this is just like one off or two off. It's, I live here in New Jersey. New Jersey's a, you know, a liberal state overall, but oh boy, do I drive past. I drive past trucks like that. I drive past houses like that. Just, woo! Stick to them goddamn lips. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's what politics is to them. So again, what the hell are you going to do with that? Except beat them. Except defeat them. Except get them out of the way. Politically, of course. Yada, yada. We already know what's up. But man, we, we got to stop letting these people win. I mean, come on. What are the worst things about Democrats? Well, they just believe in all the wrong things. Like? Well, you know, you can marry anybody you want. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's another man or another woman or anything. And that's just against God's words, you know. And I point out quite often, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm fairly hopeful for the future. And it's not, you know, it's less about the Democratic Party itself and more about us, you know, more about the people on the ground, more about the millennials, the Gen Z, the generations coming after that, everything that we have uh, in our utility belt, you know what I'm saying, technology, social media, and, and more importantly, um, seeds that have been planted, real work that's been done that gives us the ability to carry forward. You know, all the work that Bernie Sanders has done, the people who have done work before him. You know, I mean, just this platform, TYT itself. I'm sitting out here with a, a career in, in politics because of the work that was done by progressives before me. So that's why I'm hopeful, you know what I'm saying? But it's definitely time to take advantage of everything we got and, and, and just and just move on from this, okay? Because it, it's 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 more than just these people driving these big trucks with flags around. The Republican Party itself is completely deadlocked and going backwards, and we know this. There's no debate to be had. Pretty soon, I think they'll be there. I know I have so many friends that are love their dogs, and I think pretty soon. They're going to be trying to marry their dogs. And there's somewhat of a shift going on just within the general attitude. Even like with older, kind of more established, centrist Democrats. I don't necessarily mean people in office, but just like the, the voting uh, populace. You know, you got to consider the reversal of Roe v. Wade. Like my father, for instance, he, he's more of a centrist Democrat. He's in his 70s. But he was alive when that right was given. And now it's been taken away. And that type of sentiment is making it such that we just saw Tim Ryan say, you know, I'm not here to kiss ass, I'm here to kick ass. And they're liking it. They're pushing that in that direction. Biden is doing a little bit more than we may have thought that he would have. He needs to do more, obviously. But there's a lot of sentiment in the country. It's not really just with the younger generations, but older generations are being much more open to the Democrats just really getting stuff done and moving away from these psychopaths because the Republican Party is actively getting worse. Like I said, there's no debate to be had, but I mean, th th these people are too far gone. And, you know, again, you know, anybody charismatic who really is passionate and wants to get more involved in politics, please encourage them to do so in whatever way that they want to or whatever way that you maybe uh, see a path for them, because now is the time for us to continue to organize, galvanize and win.